Today, what I'm going to show you is how I rank and build new sites in 37.5 seconds using AI. So this is a website that we set up yesterday. This one down here, we automated with AI and it's already ranking on the first page in less than 24 hours for its target keyword. If we go on the page, this was completely automated with AI and it's also set up to send traffic to our funnels, as you can see. Now I'm going to show you how I build and rank brand new sites with no authority using AI. I'm going to break down exactly what's working, what's not, and what I would change next time when I'm doing these sort of experiments. And I'll show you proof of everything that works just like you can see right here. Initially, if we search for, for example, free SEO cost calculator, you will see our website ranking down there. And it's actually outranking a lot of much higher DR websites. Bear in mind, this was built in 37.5 seconds. Didn't have to do any work, completely automated with AI. It's on the first page already and generating traffic. And it's outranking massive websites like, for example, Search Engine Journal, which is like a DR80, DR90 sort of website. So I'm going to break down the process and I'll show you exactly what I would change next time. Plus, I'm going to be answering some of the FAQs about this whole process. Now, this, here's another website that I built about a week ago. It's already on Ahrefs, ranking number one for its target keywords. And additionally, it's generating $300 worth of traffic right there in one single click. Now, let's run through the proof. So this video was posted less than 24 hours ago. It was actually posted 18 hours ago, as you can see. Now, in this video, I actually created four different websites. It took me 1 minute 50 to create all four of them. That means on average, it's going to cost you about 37.5 seconds to create one of these websites and automate it. And you can build them with a tool called Bolt, which I'll show you in a second. Additionally, these sites were created and deployed from scratch using Netlify. So as an example of that, if we come onto these sites, you can see these websites were deployed just 21 hours ago. Now, not all of them are ranking, and I wouldn't expect all of them to start ranking, but already one of them is on the first page for its target keywords. Potentially, it could move up to first. I'll keep you posted on that. And if we look, since we built this site uh, last week, which was enterprise calculator.com, it's already generated nearly 300 clicks. It's got a 40% click-through rate on Google, average position of 2.8. Some people say like it's all traffic from YouTube, et cetera. But actually you can see, for example, on Ahrefs, it's already ranking for its keywords and the average position for this website is 2.8. Additionally, it's got super high. And so even if there was some traffic from the YouTube case studies I showed, it's already ranking pretty well. So you can see ranking number one for its target keyword right there. So let me break down in the video yesterday where I built out four new websites in one minute 50. I'll link to that in the notes, which you'll get at the end of this video. But you can see all the websites that we built out here. So we created four, which were seocostcalculatortool.com, freeseoanalyzertool.com, keywordcombinertool.com, and cpccalculator.com. And you can see out of four of them in less than 24 hours, this one is ranking on the first page of Google for its site keywords. This is where people, I'll come on to how we monetize it in a minute. And this site that was created is already ranking for two different keywords right there from what I've tested. Not ranking number one, but it is on the first page. And I want to be completely transparent with you because what I found is it's probably like a bit of a numbers game where, you know, I've only launched like five of these sites in the last seven days. Already two out of five of them are ranking on the first page of Google, which is not bad for a brand new site created from scratch in a few seconds and requires no extra maintenance. Now, when I actually check the indexing of these websites, all four of them got indexed on Google, but they're not actually indexed on Bing.com yet. Even though I've run it through Bing Webmaster Tools. Now, last time I used Bing Webmaster Tools, I actually got my own website indexed was within five hours or so. But you can see here that our new sites built and deployed via Bing Webmaster Tools have not been indexed on Bing, which means they're not going to rank inside ChatGPT just yet, but potentially they might do in the future. And maybe it's going to take like 48 hours or 24 hours, et cetera, for that website to start ranking. So Google seems to index way, way faster than Bing from what I've seen so far. Now, I'll talk you through what I would change in a minute, but here you can see exactly how we built out the sites. So this is the process. It works in three simple steps. So number one, you're going to find keywords related to your niche. You can just go into Ahrefs and I'll show you exactly what I would change about the keyword process in the future in a minute. And you can see here that, for example, in my niche, if I'm an SEO agency, I'm going to be looking for like SEO tool, calculator, backlinks tool, calculator, link building tool and calculator. And then you create like a little short list of exact match domains that you can create for these particular keywords. Why do you want to go after keywords in your niche? Because then you can send traffic to your funnels that you already know make money. Why would you go after link building calculator and tool related keywords? Usually because they're pretty low competition. And additionally, they're quite easy to find. Usually they have a lot of search volume. So a lot of people are looking for tools like this. And the other thing I think is like, if you look over the next sort of five or 10 years, 
I can't see many people going to informational sites versus say just using chat GPT or whatever the next AI model is that everyone uses in the world. And that's going to be way faster and easier at finding information versus say a website. And so I can't see many people using websites for informational content in the future. However, from what I can see, you know, if we went on to Google and we're like, right, SEORY calculator, Google's not created a calculator with their AI just yet inside the SERPs, although that might happen in the future. But I think this is more sustainable as a ranking strategy versus just going for like informational keywords that'll get destroyed in a couple of years anyway. Now let's come on to process number two, which is creating the websites. So the way that I usually do it is I'll go to bolt.new and I'll be like, right, create a new page about whatever keyword we found in step one. And literally all I need to do is like copy and paste this prompt directly into Bolt. As you can see, it's just a one page website. And one thing that I actually want to test in the future is building out like a full blog. I just haven't had the time. That might be like one of my next videos if, I, if we come through that. I've seen like income stream surfers creating websites with like millions of pages. He's another YouTube channel. Go check him out on YouTube. The point here is like, we're just creating one pages because they index fast, they rank fast. And I don't want to like spam the internet with loads of trashy pages that might get de-indexed a few months later. So it's like, right, create a one page website about, and then you put whatever you want to rank type in, right? SEO, ROI calculator. And then we just optimize the page and it's all, and it's got the CTAs plus pop-ups to send traffic to our funnel. So for example, if you go to SEO cost calculator tool.com, you can see here, if we click this link, then it sends us straight through to our funnel. We've got a free SEO strategy session offer in the top right and additionally in the bottom of the page as well, right? So any traffic that is going to convert would probably convert on that page. And then additionally, it's got like some information around, you know, how to use it, that sort of thing. And the content itself actually reads pretty nicely. Plus it references a tool that's embedded on the page and it gives some information about me, who I am, etc. Now you could make this a lot better. This is super basic, super simple. And this is actually one of the things that I'll tweak and I'll show you how I would do that in a minute. And then from there, you're going to hit deploy. What I actually found was Netify actually sets up the HTTPS automatically. So you can see this website is secure and you can click a couple of buttons after you've deployed your website on Bolt. And once it's built out of the site, like you can see right here, it will build it out and then you can hit deploy in the top right and claim a custom domain on Netlify. Additionally, when you're using this tool, Bolt is free up to a certain token limit per day. It's actually free to deploy the website to a staging website. And then you pay like $15 for the domain if you want to deploy and host it directly inside Netlify. Now, obviously, it's, I know some people are asking like, oh, it's, we're going too fast in these videos, etc." If you want to learn about how to use all of this process, I've actually got a whole folder that runs you through it in six different videos, exactly how we use bolt.new to start ranking quickly, what you can use it for, what you can create, etc. Because there's tons of cool stuff you can do. And that's inside my free SEO community link in the comments and description if you want to get that directly. Plus, if you have any questions, you can just post them inside the community and we'll be happy to help. Now, if we go back to Bolt, you can see it's generated the tool right here. Again, this just takes seconds to create. And once done, hit deploy, claim your website, boom shakalaka, you're off to the races, my friends. I've also got a step by step on exactly how to do that. You'll get that in the video notes today. All right. So just to recap, I've shown you proof that we've ranked in 37.5 seconds with a brand new website automated with AI. I've shown you four different case studies of what works, what doesn't, et cetera, what's ranking, what's not. And I've also broken down the process used. Now let's come on to what I would improve next time. So the first thing that I would actually do in the future is build backlinks to the website quicker to get it ranking quicker. So you can see here, for example, from this website, juliangolder.co.uk, on our SEO tools page, we've actually linked to each of these tools now inside the page and then re-index that with Omega Indexer. And that should help boost these domains so that they start ranking faster. Now, if you have a niche site that's relevant to the page you want to rank, would definitely recommend adding some links if you can find like a contextually relevant opportunity. Or if you can't do that, just do some outreach for the website and try and get some backlinks that way. That's what we usually do. So it's going to be interesting to see, okay, does linking from juliangoldy.co.uk and also from juliangoldy.com to these tools boost the rankings of the tools because we're sending a bit more power to the page. And I think that'll help give it the increase in rankings that's necessary. Now, if you're wondering, actually, does that work? So we actually built one single backlink to this website last week. So you can see juliangolder.co.uk is linking to our tool enterprise SEO ROI calculator. That's the anchor text we use. So we, so we use the exact match anchor text for the backlink. 
It's just a link insert inside content, DR48. Now this site is a DR15, right? So this brand new domain we deployed with Bolt, we built in a few seconds or a few minutes, I think it took me last week, is already up to DR15 from one single backlink from juliangoldie.co.uk. So here's a backlink from, here's a backlink to. And I think that probably played a big part in powering up the site's traffic and getting it ranking quickly. Now, now bear in mind, like 96% of websites on the internet get zero traffic from Google. We're in the top 3.5% in like seven days using this process on a singular page website. So pretty crazy stuff, if you ask me. The other thing I like about this process that is so easy. There's no technical expertise required. Anyone could do this. Even if this was your first day in SEO, you could probably set this up pretty quickly and potentially get ranking. And I'm not a coder, but I can create tools like this with AI automatically. And I just rinse and repeat the same prompt, but only change the keyword each time. One thing I haven't found a good solution for um, is that I can't seem to be able to redeploy the website. So for example, so what I can do with this tool, edit the page, whatever. And then before I go back to the tools from yesterday, and we'll go to the SEO cost calculator tool page and it loads the project from before. And then if we go to deploy, as far as I'm aware, when that gets redeployed, it doesn't update the new website. So you might have to upload the files manually because that's going to create a totally different URL right here. So I'm not sure. I actually did ask inside the Netlify support forums, but there was no real answer for it. If anyone fixes that or figures out how to do it, just let me know in the comments and I'll share it with everyone on YouTube. One thing that I would also do as well is like, due to setting up these websites so quickly, like in the space of one minute, 50 seconds for four websites, like the content was very, very rushed. Right. And so what I would actually recommend is that you create like a much bigger, longer word uh, post about the tool. So for example, if you've got a page about SEO cost calculator, then I would create a much more in depth page. that's actually going to be more contextually relevant to the topic. And you can easily automate that with chat GPT. So for example, if we go into chat GPT, we're going to use my AI SEO dominator tool, as you can see right here, then I'm going to take the keyword, I'll put keyword equals SEO cost calculator. And then it will just create some really useful content for us. We can also give it some source context, et cetera, but essentially it's going to do the research on the tool, how to write it, what to write, et cetera, where to link to. And I think that would create something that's of much more value than what we're currently doing on the page, right? So for example, if we look at the word count on this particular page, it's only like 260 words. And that was because I was rushing through the process. But if I had a bit more time to just chill, relax, make it more contextually relevant, then I'd probably aim for like a thousand, two thousand words and just give a really, really in-depth, useful article about SEO cost calculators plus how to use this particular tool, which I can easily automate using the AI SEO Dominator tool. You'll get that in the video notes in a minute. So for example, like higher word count, more contextually relevant content, more information related to the topic. The other thing that I would say is like, if you're going to use this process, then I'm in the SEO niche, right? So I have an SEO agency and obviously that's very, very competitive on Google for any sort of keyword that I want to rank for. Now, if you're not limited to a niche, then you could go wider with the niche, get more potential traffic and more ways to monetize. Plus you get better opportunities. So I'm focusing on SEO because that's where we want to send traffic to. But if you're watching this, you probably have a bigger variety of niches you could go into. So for example, if we go into Keyword Explorer over here and we just type something like calculator, and then from there, we get a choice of all the niches and you can select, for example, like DR zero is ranking on the first page, keyword difficulty zero, et cetera, and just find the easiest stuff you can. And also inside Ahrefs, you can do this on Google Automatically, but inside Ahrefs, if you're going to do this, just change the intent to non-branded, hit show results. And then from here, we've got a bunch of ideas for keywords that we could rank for. And then you would just find like an affiliate scheme or capture the email address, et cetera, and remarket to it from there, right? Then when I would look through the list, not only do I want keyword difficulty zero, not only do I want a high traffic potential, but additionally, if I'm getting really picky, I want to make sure that the top ranking domain doesn't have any backlinks or doesn't have any quality backlinks, right? So if we go on backlinks right here and we look at the backlink profile, we can see these links are like from pages that don't have any domain traffic. So they're probably not very good quality, right? So if the top ranking domains have little to no backlinks or they don't have quality backlinks, then you've got a high chance of ranking. Like you see right here, for example, let's keep going down now. Um, and also like try and find pages where no one's matched the search intent of the keyword, right? So for example, linear independence calculator, you can see everyone has created a calculator matching the search intent of that keyword. So if you can find something where there's an opportunity, like you can see right here, no backlinks ranking, keyword difficulty zero, high traffic potential, not all the pages on the first page are actually ranking for the right search intent. That's a much better keyword to go for if you're not limited to the niche.
And then, like I said, just make it even easier. DR zero is ranking, no backlinks. Because of step four, you can go wider, which means that you can be more selective with the niches, right? Now, we did get a few questions on the video yesterday. So let me answer some of these questions that we got right here. So Kazuo says, make a video on monetizing these sites. So the way that I'm monetizing them personally, and this is why I don't need a lot of traffic to the page to actually make money off it, is I can funnel traffic to my funnels, right? And I've always advised building funnels uh, on this YouTube channel because you'll make way more money than affiliate or advertising, et cetera. Ads are probably the worst way to make money, honestly, when it comes to SEO. Whereas for example, if we get like five calls booked in and then we convert one or two of them into clients, then that's a high ticket offer that's going to bring in thousands of dollars from one single ranking page. And so that's what you want to aim for. Funnels that convert, that are high ticket and don't require a lot of traffic, but require targeted traffic on the right topics, like for example, SEO. So someone's thinking about SEO costs, then of course, they're thinking about investing in SEO. They're thinking about what they're spending, the budgets, et cetera, which means they're more likely to hire an SEO agency. In terms of monetization, so we have the pop-up on the page, and then we have the free SEO strategy session at the bottom and at the top. That's how we monetize it. Someone asked, is Netlify free? So Netlify is free, and then you can just set up the DNS servers if you want to later to match with Netlify. Or you can spend like $14.99 and just buy the domain and host it inside Netlify as well. Ranking quiz would be very interesting. For example, you could create like a quiz page that redirects to funnels. So let's say, for example, let's put in quiz here, SEO quiz, like so. So that's pretty easy to rank for, high traffic potential. You can see some low DR sites ranking on the first page, like DR30, 30, 30, 25, etc. That could be a good opportunity as well. Let's see what else we've got here on the list. So SEO quiz for beginners. That could be an interesting one. And you could create a page like that. And then when people fill out the quiz, they get redirected to your funnel. So like, oh, you don't want to spend any money? Okay, check out the... So for example, you're a beginner. Okay, check out this course. But okay, if you've already got a business, but don't have any time, then hire an agency, etc. That's a really, really good idea. I like that. Thanks, Mohammed. I've already shown how to monetize these websites. Sarah says, that's awesome, but how can we make full websites for pages and footer? So you just change the prompt in the instruction. If you want to see me build out a website, let me know in the comments. And I'll try and build out a whole blog based on this process. And Giga says, how do I take my current site to those types of clicks and more traffic? So that's quite a broad process. Feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session, link in the comments description. But if you want to get more traffic to your website using this process, then you can actually create a tool on Bolt, get the iframe code for it once it's hosted on Netlify. And then from there, put that on your WordPress website. Someone else commented, make a video on how to rank them. Already showed that in this video right here. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you want all the notes from today, just to recap, I've shown you how I rank new AIC website in 37.5 seconds with Walt New, and I've shown you proof of doing that less than 21 hours ago. I've shown you how I built and rank brand new websites with no authority using AI because I build brand new domains using the process. I've broken down what's working, what's not, and, what, and why, and I've shown you proof that everything works. So if you want to get free access to the video notes from today, what I'm going to do is I'll copy this link right here. We'll go into the classroom and we'll add another page inside the bolt.new playlist called how I rank in 37.5 seconds and the video notes are right there. Please don't ask me where are the video notes. You know where they are. Go to the AICO success lab link in the comments description. Go to the classroom, how I rank in 37.5 seconds and the video notes are right there, my friends. Now, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how to get more leads, traffic, sales, or SEO, feel free to book then. Link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. And I can tell you now, it wasn't by buying 20,000 links for $5 or spinning content like a DJ on a vinyl or cloaking websites like it's 2005. If you want to learn exactly how we do this, book in a free SEO strategy session link in the comments description, and you can discover what's working for us right now. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.